Today I got some Z-Man micro lures. They call them micro finesse and Z-Man stuff's been out there for a long time. Pretty common, you know, most most people have thrown a Ned rig or use some of their little little uh, crawls or uh, they make a couple different ones. I used a little TRD Bugs recently and these are 2.75 inch lures, which is still pretty small. But these right here are micro compared to those. Now, some people think micro think you know, half inch. Now, these are micro compared to anything else they make. And um, they are smaller than some of these look. I'll show you these and you might think, yeah, it's not that small. But when you get down to it, these are micro lures and I think they're geared, or, or definitely made for ultralight fishing. Now they advertise it for the BFS stuff, which I've never used any BFS stuff. I can barely throw a baitcaster. So I don't really want to try that, but I'm really good at ultralight. And I have a lot of ultralight rods. So here's one right here, a loose six foot ultralight rod. I got four pound mono. And I used these lures today and caught a bunch of different fish on them out of a small creek about a foot and a half of water. So I'm not throwing it, you know, I wasn't targeting bass. I caught some bass on it, but I wasn't targeting really bass or targeting, I was just targeting what will these things catch. And I caught fish on all three of these lures and I'll go through these and show them to you uh, real quick. But I definitely wanna do some reviews on some different stuff. So I got these, uh, when these came out, and they came out here recently, uh, the, like I said, the Micro Z-Man, Micro Finesse lures. And I was like, I gotta do a review on those. I really don't use a lot of Z-Man stuff, but I'm like, when I saw that, like that is straight up creek fishing or multi-species species fishing. And that's the stuff I wanted to review on, whether I'm paid by it or not. Now I went out and bought these myself. And um, I, so I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna try to code it one way or the other. I got some stuff coming in that a uh, company's gonna send me that I've never been affiliated with before. And I'm gonna do a review on that. You know what, I'm gonna be this fair and honest on it too. If it's something really bad, I probably won't even do a review on it. But if there's something I don't like, I'll share. There's one thing on here I don't like. But if there's stuff that's good, I mean, I'll tell you they're good, whether I'm making money off of it or not. So uh, I want to kind of cover some of that stuff. So let's go through these. The most interesting one, which a lot of people, if you've seen these, if you've looked up Z-Man or if you, you've seen the Micro Finesse stuff come out, this right here is one that catches my eye. And I love little things like this. Check out that. This right here is called the Larva Z. It says it's 1.75 inches. Now that's from the top of it to the bottom of it. So this is tiny and this is probably the smallest thing that they are making. And yes, it is very little. I threw it on a 130, uh, no, 164 ounce jig head, a trout magnet jig head, and it's a perfect size. It, so this is not um, what you're gonna use for even downsizing it for bass. Like this is a multi-species straight up. I caught some bluegill that were that big. With this really small tail back here, they can get this in their mouth so easy. And it looks good in the water. I had some trouble with the um, tail kind of hanging on it a couple times. I'd have to just knock that down. The way that the way the tail is, it would kind of get wrapped around. I caught a couple little bitty bass. I caught some tiny bluegill. I caught some good red breasts. But basically I just threw it in this little creek where Basically, any of those fish are gonna just, they're either gonna eat it or not. You know, all the fish are gonna eat the same thing. And um, there wasn't like there was bigger bass in there. So everything that was in there was trying to eat this. And I ended up catching, I think 10 fish in about 20 minutes out of one little hole. And so I was like, that's that was what I wanted to try. I almost wish it had a little bit more body to it. Uh, there's almost no weight to this thing. I didn't notice if it floated or not, because it's so small. I'm sure it does float. Um, it's made of the last tech. How's, yeah, it's, ooh, I was wondering if that would break or not. Even that little small stuff's not breaking. So it's really strong, cool little creature bait that's gonna just catch anything. You're gonna catch a little bluegill, gonna catch a little bass. Uh, but that was definitely the most interesting one. I love any kind of little creature bait and I hope to make some of my own one day. I have a couple of ideas. Uh, but there's a lot of different ones out there and those, those are the ones I always gravitate to. Let's try the second one that I tried. Or, let's look at the second one that I tried and this one is called Shad Fryzy, and it is a little bitty swim bait. It's also, a, you know, all these are 1.75 inches, and it's got a nice body to it, like a, you know, I'll just compare it to like a Bobby Garland stuff. So it's 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 in the same range as a Bobby Garland. I can't remember what if they're 1.5 inches or not, but it's a, it's got the same about like body, maybe a little bit bigger in the head, but not much. You know, made out of elastex, really strong. The tail, which I did like about this, it has some really good action. It, it's curved right now, but as soon as it hit the water, I was barely reeling it, and that thing was was just wiggling side to side. I don't know if you can see it, see it much there. It, it was flopping really easy, 
uh, had a good action. It's got a good little boot on the tail, and um, it's but it's also very thin back here. So when those fish, you know, most of the time, you know, you, people talk about you know bass or, or any fish when they eat something, they eat it from the head. They really eat it from the tail. Like every time I see fish, they eat it from the back. Um, so they come up behind it, they slurp it up. That thin tail right there lets them easily get that in their mouth so way they can get it to the hook. So I threw this also on the same 164th ounce jig head uh, on that four pound line. And it also doesn't have much weight to it. So it's not real dense. Um, so it, it do you need, if you put want to put a little heavier jig head on there, I can, you know, 164th ounce jig head uh, or 132nd ounce would be great on it. And I could see this, you know, using these for crappie. I think they make it. They made all these in a lot of different colors, but I just ordered a few of them to try them out. So little shad fries. These a cool little minnow and also really durable. They, you know, you catch a lot of fish on them. They're not going to tear it up. So the last one that I, well, I actually tried two more, but one of them I gave away. I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Yep. That one right here is the uh, Ticklers, Tiny Ticklers. Now, I think they already make these. I'm pretty sure I have some of these in the regular, like, I think they 2.75 inch or 3 inch. Like I said, 1.75 inch, and yeah, it's tiny, all right. I caught some bluegill on this thing. I caught some bass on it. I caught a red ear on it. Um, I think this is a great little creek bass lure. I love this little size. It's also the same size as the little um, the little micro, I think it's the micro TRD. I had, I had two or three packs of them. I used them in a video recently, and I ended up giving them away to somebody else because I was catching a ton of, I, caught, I was I went in the creek and tried them out and I threw them on an ultralight rod and I was catching a ton of little bass. And I used their hooks, though so they're making some uh, micro Ned heads down to 130th ounce chick head. So that's really cool that they came out with their own little um, micro heads for these. So it's the same as the regular Z-Man, like, you know, standard Ned rig chick heads, but they're smaller, smaller hooks, smaller profile, smaller everything. Uh, and they even goes up to 1 15th ounce. So, um, they, but the 1 20th ounce, 1 30th ounce, I tried both of those. They cast great on a light rod, a ultra light rod, and they, I had fun catching a bunch of variety of fish. I was catching, even on the little, um, the little, the little micro TRDs, just basically the same size, but, you know, it's the same size as that TR, so this part all the way to the bottom. So 2.75 inch. And um, it, it was really fun. The fish were still getting it in their mouth. So these things are great. And um, I, when I looked at them, when I first looked at them, I saw them. I thought they were bigger in person, like or like not in person. I thought they were bigger online. When I looked at them online and looked at them and heard they came out, they've only been out a few months. Some stores are just now getting them in. I thought, oh, that's kind of a cool little downsize still for bass. But these are multi-species all the way. Uh, bluegill, probably crappie. But if you perch, yellow perch, I can see yellow perch tearing these up. Any kind of little aggressive sunfish is going to be able to hit these. Um, like I said, I've even caught, I think on all of these, I've caught bluegill down to like uh, three inch bluegill, like tiny bluegill. Um, and I've also caught some bigger bluegill, I've caught some five, six inch red breast, and um, caught some red ear today on them. But yeah, really cool. So um, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad they're making these. Uh, I've been saying for a while, and I, I've been talking to other guys, and I know that lots of companies are going to start making lots of more multi species lures. For guys that do like to go out and just target whatever, you want to go to a bank side or you want to go to a small creek and throw a rod around, these are even smaller than I thought. So these are definitely more like an ultralight. You want to go to an ultralight uh, setup and you throw them out. I, I guess they work for a BFS. If you're a BFS guy and you want to throw small ones, uh, if you can throw something down to uh, one thirty second ounce, that'll work. If you want to throw, I don't know how low, low you can throw these, but if you want to throw these on a one sixty fourth ounce jig head on your ultralight setup, they're paired perfectly for it. Uh, the hook's not going to be too big for it, not going to be too small for it. It's going to be just right. And you can go out there and catch a lot of fish. So, um, and maybe if that's something you're interested in, um, I know that they're new out there. I just wanted to kind of get it out there and make a kind of review on it and just show them. So if anybody's interested, hopefully it'll help you make up your mind whether you're going to use them or not. I'm going to try to make more videos like this, um, doing some reviews on just other different lures where I'm just talking about them after I've tried them out. Maybe some of them before I try them out. I don't know. Uh, depends on how the fishing's going. If I got time to try them out, but I got fishing all these, threw them on my six foot ultralight rod with four pound mono on a 164th ounce jig head, caught fish pretty easy with them. So thanks for watching.